Good morning. My name is uh, Brian Gallagher. I'm the CEO of United Way Worldwide. Uh, we'll be doing this session in English, uh, not because our panelists can't speak French. Each one of them can. Sadly, your moderator cannot. So uh, I apologize for that. We'll be doing this session in English. Um, we, uh, we will keep uh, our comments brief and then have a, have a discussion among uh, the panelists and then also uh, hopefully take questions from, from you. The, uh, and I will, I will not do the formal introductions. You, uh, as each speaker has their opportunity to speak, I'll say a bit about their background contextually, but you can read their, their bios. You know, the, the, uh, the title of this session, uh, the status of healthcare in Africa, challenges and opportunities, seems pretty apropos given the fact that there are clearly significant challenges and significant opportunities. Um, there's been real progress made in healthcare across the continent in the last 15, 20 years, life expectancy is increased. Uh, child, uh, childhood um, health outcomes are better. Um, death from communicable diseases is down. Um, but clearly that progress has been uneven and we still have many challenges across the continent. Uh, Africans uh, endure 17% of all the disease in the world and yet are 11% of the population. 50% of all expenditure for healthcare in, across Africa is out of pocket. Um, only 1% of healthcare expenditures worldwide is in sub-Saharan Africa. And a fact I learned just getting ready for this session, there's a 1.7 trillion US dollar fraudulent drug issue uh, across the continent of Africa. Uh, couple that with infrastructure, poverty, violence in some places, the shortage of trained professionals. Clearly we have challenges as well as opportunities. So as we think about in asking the panelists their thoughts on opportunities and challenges in the future, whether it's inpatient care, outpatient, um, preventative care, diagnostic services, is maybe to think about the way that President uh, Kagame last night described, he was asked the question, did you look at the Singapore experience when you designed the, the governance model for Rwanda? And his answer, um, paraphrasing, was we looked at everything. Um, he wanted to create a Rwandan system. And what I would suggest is that there is an opportunity um, given the evolution of healthcare across Africa to create an African system, not a US system, not a French system, not a Asian system, but an African system. And that's what I've asked our panelists to think about. 